Facing History in Ourselves is an organization that helps students recognize racism and anti-Semitism and all forms of bigotry so they can prevent it from happening in the future. We say that we empower students through knowledge of self and history so that they can become upstanders, people who will stand up and act for justice on behalf of their community. A black man by the name of L. Parsons, he was lynched by a mob. He was wrongfully accused of raping a young white teenager by the name of Antoinette Rappel. His lynching was sort of celebrated here. So children were out of school, they wore their church clothes, they sold peanuts and popcorn. When I first heard about it, I was, I was really shocked because I've been living in Memphis my whole life and Usually the only things we really hear about is like Elvis Presley, how good our barbecue is, you know, Bill Street. And so learning about this bad history that has happened here that nobody really talks about, you know, it made me think about what other history has kind of been brushed under the rug. One of the first things they did was they decided to start an organization. The organization they started was called Students Uniting Memphis and they really wanted to connect with students from other schools, students from across the community, and their first objective was to take responsibility for remembering the story of L Persons and making sure that it was known. There's gonna be a marker that we helped create that tells the story of what happened to L Persons. The fact that 100 years ago this happened and 100 years later is still happening, that shows that we're not as progressive as we like to claim to be. Um, human nature-wise, morality-wise, and so I'm hoping that, you know, it can kind of change the mindsets of people, kind of get them more open-minded, get them more willing to talk about what happened, because not talking about it like, is not going to help us heal. It's just going to keep the situation festering bigger and bigger. You have to be honest about what happened, and that's, that's the facing history and then you, you allow them to talk about how do you think the perpetrators felt? How do you think the bystanders felt? Were the bystanders as guilty as the perpetrators? And you can take that into today. My hope is to see that my country has healed from all the history that we've kind of brushed under the rug because there's a lot going on and I think it is due to the fact that no one really wants to have those hard conversations. And so I kind of hope to see that people will be more willing to have those conversations, even though you know it's uncomfortable, but it is something, it's like a must that we have to do. Love looks like a group of diverse individuals interacting, talking, sharing their feelings, ideas, regardless of the differences they have with others. Love and happiness